History of the Israeli-Palestinian Conflict A theme to pay attention to. Ethnic cleansing. The mass removal or killing of members of an unwanted ethnic or religious group. The Kingdom of Israel was an ancient kingdom in the Levant, in what is now modern-day Israel and Palestine. It existed from approximately 900 B.C. to 600 B.C. The Kingdom of Israel was eventually conquered by the Assyrian Empire, and its population was exiled to other parts of the empire. The people are known as the people of the Ten Lost Tribes. The Romans The Roman Empire persecuted and oppressed the Jews and ultimately forced many of them out of their homeland in Israel during the 100 C. The Romans were often at odds with the Jewish population due to their religious and cultural differences. The Romans implemented harsh policies aimed at stopping Jewish religious and cultural practices. When the Jewish people rebelled against the Romans, they faced terrible consequences. In 70 C, after a major uprising, the Romans destroyed the Second Temple in Jerusalem and expelled many Jews from the city. Over the next several decades, the Roman Empire continued to deport Jewish populations from Israel. These events had a profound impact on the Jewish people, leading to their spread throughout the world. The Arrival of the Arabs The Arab migration to Palestine can be traced back to the 600 C, when the Arab Muslim overpowering of the region brought large numbers of Arab people to the area. Over the centuries, Arab people from various parts of the Arab world continued to migrate to Palestine, sometimes as a result of economic or political factors, and sometimes as a result of invasions or military conquests. As a result of this migration, the Arab population in Palestine has been continuously present for over a thousand years and has had a significant impact on the region's culture, language, and identity. The Return of the Jewish People the return of Jewish people to Palestine began in the late 1800s, a period known as the First Aliyah. This wave of Jewish immigration was driven by a variety of factors, including anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish, violence and persecution in Europe. It was also driven by Zionism, a nationalist and political movement to restore the land of Israel-Palestine as a home for the Jewish people. Thousands of Jews from Eastern Europe and Russia migrated to Palestine. This immigration was followed by a second wave of Jewish immigration, known as the Second Aliyah, which took place between 1904 and 1914. The Balfour Declaration It was a letter written in 1917 by British Foreign Secretary Arthur James Balfour to a leader of the Jewish community. He promised he would help to establish a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. It was also influenced by the growing desire among European Jews for a homeland of their own, following centuries of persecution and discrimination. The Balfour Declaration was seen as a significant step forward in the movement to establish a Jewish state in Palestine. However, it also sparked controversy and opposition, as the Arab population in Palestine opposed the idea of a Jewish homeland in the region. British Gained Control of Palestine in the years following the Balfour Declaration, Jewish immigration to the region increased significantly. Many Palestinians think the British encouraged the displacement and deportation of the Palestinian people to make way for the Jewish people. Jewish people see the British as crucial allies in creating the country of Israel. UN Resolution 181, Two Countries the United Nations recommends the Palestinians and the Jewish people create two countries out of the Holy Land, where Jerusalem, the holy city for both religions, is located. One country would be called Palestine, the other Israel. The establishment of the State of Israel in 1948 marked a turning point in the history of Jewish return to Palestine, as millions of Jews from around the world immigrated to Israel. Arab-Israeli War and Ethnic Cleansing the 1948 Arab-Israeli War broke out, and Israel took over more land than the United Nations promised it. They steal land and remove Palestinians from their homes, ethnic cleansing. They declare the entire area to be the country of Israel. Two-thirds of the population in the land Israel claims are still Palestinian. Ethnic cleansing. The mass removal or killing of members of an unwanted ethnic 
or religious group. Six-Day War Six-Day War Against Egypt, Jordan, and Syria in 1967 Israel wins and takes control of the Gaza Strip, West Bank, and Golan Heights. Many Palestinians are kicked out of their homes. Oslo Accords Israel and the Palestinian Liberation Organization, PLO, made significant agreements in the Oslo Accords. They each recognized the other's right to exist and Israel agreed to begin the peace process of possibly allowing Palestinians the right to rule themselves. The Second Intifada, Two Steps Back The Second Intifada was a period of intensified conflict between Israelis and Palestinians that lasted for years, beginning in 2000. The uprising began when an Israeli government official went inside a holy mosque, which Palestinians interpreted as disrespectful. The conflict was marked by suicide bombings and other attacks by Palestinian militants and Israeli military responses. It resulted in the deaths of thousands of Palestinians and Israelis, and it significantly damaged the prospects for peace in the region. The conflict was marked by increased construction of the Israeli West Bank barrier, which was designed to prevent suicide bombings but also cut off Palestinian communities from each other and their farmland. The Second Intifada is considered a turning point in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, as it eroded trust and hope for a peaceful resolution of the conflict. 2008 War in Gaza The 2008 Israel-Gaza War, also known as Operation Cast Lead, was a three-week military campaign between 2008 and 2009. It was sparked by a series of rocket attacks on Israel launched by Hamas, Gaza's militant, often called terrorist, leaders. Israel responded with a massive military operation involving airstrikes, ground troops, and naval bombardment. The conflict resulted in the deaths of around 1,400 Palestinians, mostly civilians, and 13 Israelis, including three civilians. The war became international news. People accused Israel of using more force than was necessary and committing war crimes while Hamas was criticized for the rocket attacks and human shields. The conflict ended with a ceasefire agreement. Let us look at 1917 to 2014 a little closer. 1917 to 1939. The British Mandate's main objective was to place historic Palestine under political, administrative, and economic conditions that would secure the establishment of a Jewish national home in Palestine. Before the British Mandate in Palestine, Jews made up 3% of the total population. 1939 to 1945. The British Mandate facilitated Jewish immigration from Europe to Palestine in the 1920s and AMP, 1930s. By 1947, the Jewish population had increased tenfold to 33% of Palestine. 1946 In 1946, Zionist Jews controlled less than 6% of historic Palestine. 1947. The UN proposed a plan that would grant 55% of historic Palestine to a Jewish state and 45% to a non-contiguous Arab one. Jerusalem would get special international status. Palestinians rejected the proposal because it stripped away much of the land that was under their control. At the time, they owned 94% of historic Palestine and comprised 67% of the population. 1947 to 1949. On May 14, 1948, the day the British mandate expired, Zionists declared the state of Israel to be born. Zionist military forces expelled at least 750,000 Palestinians, destroyed over 530 villages, and captured 78% of historic Palestine. The remaining 22% was divided into two parts the West Bank and Gaza Strip. In 1949, the UN welcomed Israel as a member state. No Palestinian state ever materialized. 1967 In June 1967, Israel expanded into the West Bank, including East Jerusalem, and the Gaza Strip, occupying all of historic Palestine. 
This has made the Israeli occupation the longest in modern history. 1993. PLO leader Yasser Arafat signed the Oslo Declaration of Principles with Israeli PM Yitzhak Rabin. The future negotiations were supposed to determine which areas Palestinians would control within the 22% of historic Palestine that Israel occupied in 1967. 1994-2014 Palestinians were given certain powers of self-rule in urban parts of the West Bank and Gaza Strip. However, Israel maintained security control and the ability to raid at any time. 2014. Even today, Palestinian national aspirations remain elusive. Throughout historic Palestine, Palestinians face occupation and colonization, siege and war, and discrimination and second-class treatment from Israeli rule. Additionally, millions of Palestinian refugees languish in camps awaiting their right to return to their homes. Year 2023. The new, far-right Israeli government the most extreme and religiously conservative in the nation's history, wants the removal of many Palestinians and to gain most of West Bank territory. This leaves little land for Palestinians to build their country and pursue the two-state solution. The two-state solution would allow for both Palestine and Israel to exist as separate countries. There is also the possibility of a one-state solution, where both Jewish and Palestinian people live in one country as full citizens. Israel believes Palestinians are dangerous and cannot be trusted as full citizens of Israel with rights. After their treatment of the Palestinians, they fear how they would respond to their freedom. This is particularly concerning for Israel because the Palestinian population is growing at a faster rate than the Jewish population. If they were to become one nation and stay a democracy, the Palestinians would have the majority vote. Respond to the reflection section on your notes sheet. Reflection 1. Did learning about the history of ethnic cleansing in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict change your mind about who has the most right to the land? Whose claim to the land do you think is strongest? Give two reasons. 2. Draw a picture of one of the events described above. Which event did you draw?